Hey, thanks for joining us. Dr. Mark Vaughn here at the Auburn Medical Group. We are going to go through a doctor's visit with Ethan. Now, Ethan, he's not smiling a whole lot because he's been sick. But knowing that he's sick, watch his experience at the Auburn Medical Group. Thanks. It is. Except it's not a poke. All right, perfect. Come on back this way. And if you just want to stand with your back against this wall here, I'm just going to grab your height. All right, perfect. All right, step away. That's the Okay. All right, have a seat right there for me. We're just going to get a few bike signs here. This is what he's at home, too. Oh, okay. So you're here for possible strep throat, is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what kind of symptoms you've been having? Um, I had a headache, so I'm a little bit, um, hurts to swallow, um, congestion, okay. and got really hot myself. Really? Yeah. Like feverish hot? Yeah. Okay. Any like night sweats or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I get you any water or anything? Hello? Hi, Ethan. You get to go to the doctor today. So, my understanding is you have really bad sore throat, fever. Does it hurt to swallow? Yeah. And does Tylenol make you feel better? Mm -hmm. And are you coughing? A little bit, not much. Does it feel like there's any restriction in your breathing? No. Do you hurt anywhere? Um, just throat. Headache or congestion, yeah. pressure in the sinuses, drainage from the nose? Congestion went away. But yeah. But no real coughing or wheezing. or. Let me check you by having you sit right here. And we're going to take, take a look at you. One of the things we'll do is take a quick peek in your ears and mouth using this. Right. So we'll look in both ears, starting with your right ear. And it's a pretty good looking clear eardrum. Moving around to get your left ear. Pretty straight shot, little wax. Nothing's really going to cause any problems. Wait, what is that there? Oh, well, there we go, get a better shot. We're not seeing the whole thing, but as much as we can see, it's pretty good. I'm gonna take a quick look in your nose. Look straight ahead, and I'm gonna... Uh-oh, you fogged up the optics, you breathed. Hold your breath. No, 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 I didn't warn you. All right, let's see if we got it. Still a little blurred. A little fog to me. Okay, hold your breath. Now take a look back at Ethan's nasal passages. Yeah, a little bit of crust there, not much. And then open your mouth really big. And I'll see if I can see anything on this. You know what I'm going to do? I'll take this off and say, ah. Oh. Uh. Big as you can. Oh, uh, uh, I can just barely see your tonsils. Actually, no, I can't see tonsils. How are we going to get? And you haven't had your tonsils removed. You just don't have anything to look at. This is awful because I'm going to be actually catching back in your throat. So open your mouth as big as you can. And I want to go open really big, really big. I'm going to go there. Oh, there's your tonsil. Uh -huh. And then we're going to try to get the other side. Sorry. You were so good about that. Big, 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 open big, say, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. All right. Your glands or lymph nodes, are they sore? No, I mean. no. Little swollen. But I can certainly feel them along here, what we call the posterior cervical nodes. But they don't hurt. 
in the supraclavicular nodes, the anterior. And then I'm going to listen to your heart and lungs. Take some big breaths in and out. Okay, so I don't think that it's strep throat, and the reason I say that is because when I look back at your tonsils, what I can see of them, they're not terribly enlarged red or have pus pockets on them. Uh, the other thing we have to consider is mono. Mono really wipes people out and gives them the sore throat and the, the lymph nodes also, just like strep throat does. Uh, sometimes they're indistinguishable on exam. In fact, even mono can have the uh, throat with the pus on the tonsils too. It always has to be considered. Uh, one thing with mono though, we get concerned about the possibility of an enlarged spleen that can get injured in trauma in athletic events. So we want to check that by having you lie on your back. You know, lift your shirt up and examine your abdomen. And the spleen is located under the ribs here. And normally you can't even feel this tip of the spleen. I may just barely be able to, pushing in like that under the ribs, find it. Uh, I think I'm just possibly barely, is that hurt at all? It's just ticklish, yeah. So. Uh, come on back up. A, a lot of people are still of the opinion that people shouldn't be doing any kind of contact sports. Uh, snowboarding would be kind of considered a sport where you could possibly get trauma there. But um, the most recent evidence does not show that people ever had a problem with their spleen having an injury when you couldn't feel it already. So with that, I would say there's, there's no limitations on your activity unless we were to feel large spleen. Uh, we'll see what the strep test shows. If it shows strep throat, we just simply treat that with amoxicillin if you're not allergic to it and it goes away. We don't treat it with antibiotics because it makes it go away significantly faster. It really doesn't. What it does is keep people from having problems that can be complications of strep throat where they get infections that go into their heart or their kidneys and cause real problems with their heart valve or the kidneys later on. So we'll see what your test shows. So the rapid strep test comes back negative. Uh, this is some kind of a viral pharyngitis. It could be mono, it could just be you know, a, a viral sore throat. The reason I bring up the mono so much is because the age group, 15 years old, there's lots of mono going around. And mono is different from just a sore throat that goes away within a few days. It sticks around for weeks and people are very heavily fatigued to the point that some people have to redo that portion of schooling. Uh, because they're not able to go to school because they are so run down from the mono infection, mononucleosis. So that's why I harp on it so much. It's not that I necessarily think that's what Ethan has. I just want the family to be aware of that's a possibility of any sore throat, oftentimes in a teenager. Mono is often called the kissing disease. Just checking. Hey, thanks for joining us. I just thought maybe you guys would like to see what, what it's like to go through a doctor's visit at the office. Ethan's a good sport for participating. He's not feeling well at all, but he, he let us use the camera. You know, when, when, when your dad likes videoing things all the time, you get used to it, I guess. So, hey, special thanks to our patrons who helped make this possible at the higher levels, Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antoine. Thank you so much, ladies. And the rest of you who want to see what that's about, just go to the Patreon link. And those of you who haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We don't usually do things like this. Usually it's more like a procedure. But this time's Ethan, Dr. Mark Vaughn, myself telling you, stay in good health.